Hi, I'm Dr. Stacy Kilcullen. I'm one of the vets at Little Silver Animal Hospital. And one of the things we want to talk about today is uh, how to take care of your pet's teeth. The number one thing you could do without say is to brush your pet's teeth, ideally daily. It might seem intimidating, but we're going to talk about the best way to do that. And eventually you're going to want to get to brushing their, their teeth with a doggy toothpaste and a doggy toothbrush, like you see here. Ideally, you want to do this every single day. It'll probably take you about 30 seconds once you get used to it. But let's say that's not going to happen. Your dog is not going to have anything to do with it. There are other things you can do. You don't want to give up at that point. So other things you can do, for instance, would be like a product like TD. TD is almost like if you used it as a whole diet, it would be like brushing your pet's teeth three times a week. So if you're not using it a whole diet, it's going to be diluted out. So it'd be like brushing their teeth maybe once a week. Another great product I love is something called Oravet. Uh, it has an ingredient called Delmopinol, and that's actually used in human medicine for people who have chronic halitosis. So what's really neat about this product, it has a spongy center. So when a dog chews on it, it squeezes the tartar off where the tooth and the gum meet, which is really important because that's where dental disease usually occurs. So this given ideally daily or every other day is something else that you can do in combination with brushing or if you can't brush at all. Some other things to consider are gonna be your other chewables such as the veggie dents or the greenies. Um, other things to consider also is something called Perio Support. This product helps soften the tartar. It is not gonna remove the tartar off the teeth. It just can be used in combination with something else which may help get the tartar off the teeth. And then you can always go for a water additive. There's tons of water additives on the market. What these do is help decrease bacterial attachment to the teeth, and you put them in the water. They're safe enough to be used in cats and dogs. Um, you just wanna make sure they're VOHC approved. And that basically is a veterinary dental council that has seen research on those products and knows that those products work. To review, the best thing you could do for your pet is to brush your teeth on a daily basis. And we're gonna demonstrate that today on how to do that so it's not stressful for you or your pet. So ideally what you want to do is get yourself a simple gauze pad, a soft one would be best, or you can use a children's washcloth, one of those really thin ones. Ideally, you want to just lift up your dog's lips and you want to rub that right where the tooth and the gum meet. So just lift up and just basically rub. And you're going to want to hit all the surfaces that you can and just work your way around. And that's basically it. You might notice a little bit of residue there. I'm just removing what I call the daily schmutz off the teeth. Then what you can do is as you get really, really good at this, graduate up, put some toothpaste on that gauze pan, and you can work yourself up to a doggy toothbrush. And ideally, you wanna lift up, come at that area, right where the tooth and gum meet. And my patient today was awesome. So that's one quick way you could do that. Should take you about 30 seconds each side and you're done. After this, you can give your dog a cookie. If you're really stressed out, your dog is gonna be stressed out. It's gonna go horrible. Your best bet is relax, start with yourself with a gauze pad, work your way up, add the toothpaste to the gauze pad. Once you're feeling like a pro, go out and get yourself a dog toothpaste and doggy toothbrush, and then start going from there. Yes, you like it, don't you? Yes.